They're doing us a favor. Like, here you go. You feel as if we've left you out of history books. You feel as if we don't talk about you in school. So here's your little month. All right, my beautiful brown sisters, thank you for taking the time to truth with me today. We're doing some real truthing. Thank you, whoever's watching for truthing with us. And certainly, please comment below because we want to hear your thoughts because it's all about everybody having a space to share their true selves, walking their truth. It's time for truthing. So today we are talking about, because it's February, mm -hmm. it is our month, right? You know, like people say, I'm blackity black, 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 black <laughs> this month, although I'm black 365 days of the year, I turn it up mm -hmm. right now. But there are people who've come out and said that Black History Month is unnecessary, it's not relevant, it's an insult, um, it's turned into being very commercial. So I want your thoughts. The choosing card today is... Is Black History Month still relevant? For me it is. I believe it is because that's no different than saying, uh, oh, well, all the slaves were free, so you don't need reparations anymore. Like, let's not even talk about that part anymore because mm. you're free, don't worry about it. So I feel like we still need something for us. It should be an everyday thing, but I think we still need that acknowledgement that just like having Martin Luther King Day and stuff like that, I think we still need to have that. Now, it's unfortunate it's the, uh, a, the day, uh, the month where there is the shortest amount of days. Oh, you know they're gonna get the shortest month. You know they're <laughs> gonna do that to us now. But Come on. I think it's relevant. Okay. I do. Yeah. Um, I definitely think it's very relevant because there are a lot of us that's still not even free mentally. Right. Most of us, I don't think, are free mentally. I, I agree. We, we walk around here with colonized minds, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead. I mm -hmm. agree. Um, so we need constant reminders. And of course, one month is not enough. But we definitely need constant reminders um, of where we came from. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. What we've been through and where we're at. And know we have Ooh, not what we've arrived. been through. We have not arrived yet. And so let me ask you this. Is Black History Month for us? Is Black History Month for everybody? When you say we need reminders. I think it's both. I, I think it should be for everybody, but is it really? You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. that's in the, the eye of the beholder as far mm -hmm. as their perception is, is concerned. But I do believe it should be for all of us to be reminded of what, what what's happened and what needs to be done. But I do think, like, piggybacking off of what you said in regards to it being like an everyday thing, I think it should be an everyday thing. Um, but we like you with said. It every day. Say it's like every day. Right. Yeah, we deal with right, every right. Day. But I do like, I think, like you said, the month should also be for everybody because I think people don't really think about it on a regular basis. So the month, it's like, oh, it's Black History Month. Like, I do have a problem, though, with um, certain retail stores that they make such a big deal about it. I do want to get into that. I do want to get into that. I definitely want to get into talking about retail, but before we go there, I do want to talk about who Black History Month is for. Mm -hmm. I feel as if sometimes people feel as if they're doing us a favor. Like, here you go. You feel as if we've left you out of history books. You feel as if we don't talk about you in school. So here's your little month. Mm -hmm. Here's your little, mm -hmm. the shortest month of the year, we're going to give this to you. Yeah. And they don't see it as something like we're truly celebrating you mm -hmm. because you deserve this celebration. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, do you have that feeling at all? I definitely do. It's like, like you're saying, here, take this. This is, you know, be happy with this. Right. I feel like they do that, patronize or, you know, mm -hmm. us um, very often. Mm -hmm. Very so often. I yeah, I agree with that as well. I think at times it can feel like it's a, like a pass. Like, oh, here you go. Don't worry about it. See, we did this for you. It's bright and shiny. Look over here. Pay attention to this so that you don't think about all the other times where you're excluded. Right, because you know it's, I mean? you know, it is 
Black History Month in some ways insulting? I mean, does it mean that we're settling? Like, do we deserve to be represented throughout history? Because we are history. I mean, mm -hmm. black history is American history. Yeah. And so should it be when we talk about you know, wars, where it's clear that black people were, have fought for this country in every mm -hmm. war. It's clear how we, the contributions we've made, the inventions we've done. I mean, mm -hmm. all of that are, do we have to just say, we are America, and you see just the same people all the time, and then, okay, black people did a few things too, right. here's their month. Right. Like we haven't, you know, like we were barely here. I felt that way in school, mm -hmm. for sure. Oh, I think yes. now it's a little more, um, intertwine with mm -hmm. the day to day, but yeah. definitely in school when I grew up, I totally felt like, okay, we just completely switched to something different just for this period of time. Right. And then that's it. We Which makes it seem as day. if we haven't done anything mm -hmm. because it's relegated to a small town. Like, let's just study this one little mm -hmm. piece of, mm -hmm. like, like we have not been major contribu yeah. contributors to this country. It's like a paragraph in the whole book. Yes. Like they take the one paragraph to talk about black accomplishments. Yes. But this this is all where That's all we are. Yeah, that's it. So, um, what about what you learned in school? Like when you had when you did learn have Black History Month, do you feel that what you learned was at least sufficient or is, um, did you respect your education that you got during Black History Month? No, I didn't, because I feel like there's a lot of things that we that has been kept from us mm -hmm. that has happened that they still don't teach. Right. Um, so no, I I think it is very much so an oppression. Okay. Totally. Um, to dumb us down mm -hmm. and to make us not truly know how powerful we are. Oh how yes. Amazing we are. I think that's why people are scared yeah. for us to know our history because if we did. Then we we would they love ourselves so much, mm -hmm. terrified, mm -hmm. terrified mm -hmm. of us knowing. I mean, yes. it's shown by all they're no. doing to ensure. I mean, I, I've written about that. I said, if someone's fighting so hard for me not to have something, mm -hmm. then it must be really good. Mm -hmm. If you don't mm -hmm. want me to learn my history, then you must recognize how incredible we are. I tell people when I was in school, I think I'm telling you, I'm talking about my whole schooling. Um, when it comes to Black history, all I learned uh, it, they. History books act as if black people's lives started at slavery. Mm -hmm. So how does that help our anything when we learn we were slaves? I mean, I'm sorry, we were not slaves. We were people who were enslaved. It was right. something that was done to us. It's not something that we are. I'm really big on saying people who were enslaved mm -hmm. and not slaves. And then there was like Martin Luther King. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Like... Rosa Parks. Yeah, and Rosa Parks, and, that, <laughs> and that's the end of black people. Like, yo, first of all, y'all were enslaved, and then there was Martin Luther King, and that's the end of your story. Mm -hmm. And I definitely did something to our psyche as kids growing up, you know? Oh, I think it totally yeah. did. Yeah, as far as confidence, as far as knowing your place. Um, so, yeah. I do or even the accomplishments that we had as black people, some of the things that we use every day were invented by yes. black people and we would never know that. We would never know. Like you said, like in school you learn about, you know, Martin Luther King, Rosa Parks, you have this small little portion of your education where you learn about those things, but you don't know about, you know, who invented you know, maybe a light bulb or, you know, like how right. they just kind of make it like something, it can be something really simple like an electrical socket and you find right. out a black person, right. you know, created that and then like the this whole time you've been brainwashed to think that it didn't start until a white person. Oh, know. I'm telling you, I read um, in high school, I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings by mm -hmm. Maya Angelou. Mm -hmm. And I said, I want to be a writer because there's no, there's not enough black writers. Mm -hmm. Because my education had made me think that there weren't that many. Yeah. Because if there were that many, why, would, why hadn't we read more, yeah. right? So I just didn't think there were just like this, you know, all the great writers that, mm -hmm. you know, our people have been writing since the beginning of time, even when it was illegal for us to read and write, right. we found a way, but that was not represented to mm -hmm. me. So mm -hmm. I, I really thought that my people were limited in what we had done because that's what the school system will teach you. But you know what helped me um, 
My parents had purchased, I don't know if you guys remember this, back in the day they used to have like the black encyclopedia books. I didn't get that. I, yeah. was, I, used, to, I used to have encyclopedias, but I didn't know about the black ones. Yeah, the Ebony had came out with one. It was like a set of encyclopedia Super smart. books. And so that's when I really started learning about all the great accomplishments black yes. people have done. That and then leaving a... Um, going from being in a high school that was mixed to going to a HBCU. That's when I really felt oh, yeah. empowered. Yeah, by the time I got to, to Tuskegee, I, you know, I was already, I, I had learned, because my parents were pretty you know, helpful. They were, mm -hmm. they were actually good in mm -hmm. ensuring that I uh, was aware. But uh, yeah, once Tuskegee, I was like, yeah. you're the greatest people like, in this world. Exactly. What are you <laughs> like, oh, what? Um, yeah. and, and it, but so you, but but do you think we know what's not right now? We know we're, we deserve much more. But do you think, in the meantime, I guess we should celebrate that we do at least have this month? Because you know a lot of sacrifices were made. To it wasn't like people generously let us have you know this month. We've had to everything you know it's been a struggle. Everything we've gotten, you know. But is it is at the same time? Are we settling? Are we, should we insist upon, no, the curriculum needs to be diverse. It should be representative of America, of the people who live in this country and have built this country. I still think it's both because I feel like the minute they try and take it away from us, that's when we'll appreciate it. If mm. they try and take Black History Month away from us, uh, okay. then more of us will be like, well, why are you taking Black History Month away from us? You know what I mean? It's not right. like we're replacing it with, like you said, the diversity on a day-to-day yeah. -day basis, but if you take it away. And obviously that shouldn't have to happen for that thought. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because we already know it's not enough. So right. I, I do agree that we we do need to do more. Yes, let's be thankful that, okay, yes, we have this to celebrate. Right, to remind know, us. To mm -hmm. remind us, right. yes. However, yes, what else can we do? What else do we need to do? So it's like any holiday, right? It's Valentine's Day. So I don't want, I don't want my man saying to me, well, I, I want to tell you I love you because it's Valentine's <laughs> Day. <laughs> so maybe Valentine's Day should be a reminder. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That to like express your love. Yeah. But Lord knows it shouldn't be the only day that your love is expressed. Just like Black History Month should, should be a reminder yeah. to celebrate mm -hmm. our, the greatness of black Americans. I agree. Yeah. But we should be doing a 365. Mm -hmm. And the curriculum absolutely needs to be updated. Oh, but yeah. since they're changing history, I mean, I was looking the other day and they were talking about um, in Congress uh, um, blocking out some of Martin Luther King's speeches. Mm -hmm. I mean, just the complete, like, let's rewrite the history to satisfy our agenda mm -hmm. and let's rewrite the history to make America look like the country, we want, the, the fantasy, you know, from, Colum from Christopher Columbus to all, mm -hmm. it has become about as real as Jack and the Beanstalk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I agree. It's fake. It's a made up little fictional mm -hmm. like fairy tale. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So right now we're sticking with, we're going to keep this Black History Month. Yeah. yeah I feel yeah. why not? Yeah. yeah. Do you walk with a little extra strut? Y'all got a little extra whatever. I, I've seen some of people's memes and they're like, it's Black History Month. I'm not moving out the sidewalk. It's all over TikTok. Just kiss my butt. What? It's all over TikTok. Yeah, I've been seeing those. Mm -hmm. Do you feel as if you walk with a little extra oomph? Um, I think for me, I, I get out a little bit more. Okay. Because there's more to do that yes. celebrates black history. Yes. Whereas on any other day, we don't have certain exhibits or certain events that come up. That's true. So I feel like I'm more engaged. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I feel that fire is still in me um, before and after. Oh, so the fire, your, your blackness yeah, is, no, yeah. No, it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I'm black history. I'm, I'm, I'm black history every day. I'm all radical, every, not radical. <laughs> it's, it's sad that loving yourself and celebrating your blackness is considered yes. radical in this yeah. country. But it you is. Especially see it, because, like, Cause I have I, I I do different weddings like, mm -hmm. at some different because you you sing at a lot right? of weddings yes yes so I'm gonna tell you when I go to some of these places right <laughs> talk about it honey because I like the story <laughs> look spill the tea <laughs> when I go to some of these places you know which are farms and vineyards mm. and these are places that I know that my ancestors were slaves yeah. oh no. yes do you not feel that in your bones yes uh, yes yes. And then, I think we had played with last year, um, Juneteenth, 
the lady came up to us. She was just like, thank you so much for you all even still coming here and being here yeah. and singing. You know, I didn't really know how to receive that. I tried to not look too much you know, into it. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Um, but, 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 but anywho, for me, since I see it a lot, mm -hmm. Um, and I do feel it when I do when I am at these country clubs and I walk around and I see these portraits. Oh yes, okay, honey, the portraits, portraits of, celebrating it. You know, celebrating. You know, the masters. You know. Um, yeah. It. So it's always for me, and that's maybe because I always see it. I'm constantly mm. seeing it, constantly mm -hmm. feeling it. Even like when. You know, so we're the band, but then you have your counterparts that are photographers and, you know, who, you know, are different ways. Mm -hmm. They ate something different. Their food, their their food was different than ours. Really? You no, know, this has happened. This has definitely happened. So, yeah. And, you know, it's funny. And that it's when you, right now. And when you say something right. like that, people will say, oh, you're just looking for problems. Yeah. And it's like, no. Or don't be so sensitive. Or don't be so sensitive. <laughs> no. Yeah. No, we, we even had a we had a um, thing at the Trump um, something at Trump home, and I literally felt and I'm sorry I have to say this, we looked at each other because they literally looked like they fed us slut. So for me, yes, uh, every day, all day, um, you know, and hopefully, because I know I we all could be doing more. I know I need to do more. We to all educate, could be doing more. Yeah, to educate well, and it's sad. So I can know. You know, right. Was you know the best route. We cannot. We anybody would be foolish to depend on anybody else to teach our history to ourselves and I mean to but to our children mm -hmm. to our loved ones like it has to be something we we must ensure that we are doing some home education mm -hmm. because we are not going to learn about our greatness no and right. I don't think for me I would love to see like in high schools when you have these uh when you change rooms and you have to go to your English class or your science class I would love to see like a mandatory like DEI or you know, black history class, like mandatory that they have to take Well, you know, it. they killed it. You know, the funny thing is in some areas they had, um, that wasn't mandatory, but they did offer black history. Like they would offer, you know, they would just, like women's history. They would have these classes. They, because of the war against DEI, the, I mean, the all out war, they have now, like most school systems now are wiping it away. Just like Because that. what people don't understand about the decision by the Supreme Court to ban affirmative action, what they said in their decision, essentially, is that we have no racial issues in America. There has been no racial bias, so wow. there's no need mm. for programs There's no to fix, you know, to, to add equity. It, it doesn't exist, is what they said. So that's why it's so powerful. So now, so many things can be wiped out that said, oh, well, you know what, because we don't give... Yeah black people uh, their due in history, really nobody else but mainly white males when you talk about history, let's have these separate courses. Now they're saying, well, there's no problem. It's all equal. Let's, so let's not even deal with it anymore. Uh, that amazes me. Isn't it amazing? Again, back way. to the fairy tale, Jack and the Beanstalk, Cinderella, all of them, just making up, just making up whatever history that makes them more comfortable. Yes. Yes. I mean, that's the goal to make them feel comfortable. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Well, I appreciate y'all choosing with me. Thank We're gonna you. This is one of my ways I'm celebrating this Black History Month oh. is just talking to some of my brilliant, brilliant folks, family. <laughs> yeah, because I think, you know, again, you know, that's how I believe we grow and bond and just listen to each other, learn from one another and really have the freedom to speak our absolute truth. So thank you again. Thank you again. And let me continue to keep talking. It's always time to have a conversation. Love it. Thank you.